Hello friends, it is I, Rudy, your Universal Champion, and I am here today bringing you another predictions video, cause it's another month, which means there's another WWE Premium Live event. This time, it is WrestleMania Backlash, and so far, there's only like six matches on the card, and I am not excited for any of them. But it is what it is, that's, that's how it goes, that's how it goes. So, let's just get right into it. Starting off, the first match. Happy Corbin versus Matt Cat Moss. Well, am I excited about this? Not really, no, no. I'm tired of seeing him, Happy Corbin or Baron Corbin, whatever you wanna call him, in pay-per-view stuff, because his character, it was entertaining for a little bit, but now it's getting kind of boring. I, I, don't, I don't find it entertaining at all, but, Mad Cat, Mad Cat Moss. There's something about him that you know people are starting to like. People are starting to cheer for. So this match, which is I'm um, whatever it's about, I feel like it's a good kicking off starting point for Mad Cat Moss. It gives him a big win on a on a premium live event, and which is good. It's good for him. So keep it short and sweet. Mad Cat Moss beats. Baron Corbin or Happy Corbin. Next, we have Bobby Lashley versus Almost. Part dos because they fought at WrestleMania, but now Almost has MVP on his side and Bobby Lashley is alone. But you can't have Bobby Lashley lose. You can't have him lose. Like Almost is really really tall and has MVP now on his side, but. Almost is still not that good of a wrestler. Uh, he, he's tall and all, he, he has power, but it's Bobby Lashley. It's Bobby Lashley. He, he was WWE Champion not that long ago. I don't see him losing anytime soon again, but who knows? This is WWE. They like, they like messing with us. They like giving us what we don't want. And we want Bobby, Bobby Lashley to win. But they might just give it to Omos just cause to get his win back. But I hope not. I hope not. I hope Bobby Lashley wins and he beats Omos and he goes off on a winning streak and then maybe challenges for the WWE or Universal Champion down the line. If they ever split it up again. Next we have AJ Styles versus Edge and Damian Priest cannot cannot interfere like he's banned from ringside. Um, I don't know. This like their match at WrestleMania was pretty good. AJ Styles and Edge they had a good match at WrestleMania, but this is a rematch. Edge won the last one, and I feel like they had to give it to AJ Styles. But then again, Edge is trying to form a stable with Damian Priest and someone else. So maybe, just maybe, Edge wins again, but. This time he has help from someone else, either Tommaso Ciampa or Rhea Ripley, whoever he wants in his stable. Maybe they come out and help him. I don't know. I don't know. It would be cool to see AJ Styles win because you know he hasn't really won at pay-per-views or premium live events in a while. So it'd be cool to actually see him win a big match that he hasn't been able to win. But it's gonna be a good match. I feel like this match might be match of the night again, but we'll see. We'll see. But uh, I'm gonna have to give it. I want AJ Styles to win, but I'm gonna have to give it to Edge. I feel someone else is gonna interfere because Damian Priest is banned from ringside. So someone else is gonna help out Edge and beat AJ Styles. I feel that's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. So Edge beats AJ Styles. Next, we have the SmackDown Championship, the I Quit match between Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey. You gotta give it to Ronda Rousey. You didn't give it to her at WrestleMania, so you better give it to her at WrestleMania Backlash. There's no way, there's no way I see Ronda Rousey saying I quit. There's no way. So Charlotte Flair, you know, she had a good run as the SmackDown Women's Champion, but I feel it's time to take off the title from her. You know, we want to see something new. We want to see new feuds. 
Charlotte Flair is cool and all as a bad guy, but I think her time is up as the champion. We want to see something else. We want to see someone else be the champion and maybe get Ronda fighting different people. Maybe Bailey comes back in Challenger like as the first fight. I don't know. But it would be cool seeing Ronda Rousey as champion taking on the lights of I don't even know who's on SmackDown. Naomi, Sasha Banks, Bailey, if she comes back. Just have Ronda Rousey beat Charlotte Flair and give us new feuds. And have Charlotte go away for a little bit. But yeah, Ronda Rousey beats Charlotte Flair. Now we have another rematch from WrestleMania, which is Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. This is another toughie. It's another toughie because... Cody Rhodes just came back and you can't have him lose another, you can't have him lose. I feel like you can't have him lose anytime soon. Because if, especially if you want him to go after the Unified Universal Championship, you can't have him lose anytime soon. But, like I said, this is WWE. They like giving us things that we don't want. But then again, Seth Rollins is, is... He's a good wrestler. He deserves his win back, but he could he could handle the loss a little bit better than Cody Rhodes. But I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this would be another good match, but it, will it be better than the one they had at WrestleMania? I don't know. I don't know. But but it's gonna be a good match. I it could go either way. I wouldn't mind if Cody wins. I don't wouldn't mind if Seth won. But I'm gonna have to go with Cody. Cody Rhodes beats Seth Rollins because you gotta you gotta you gotta make him a challenger for the championship eventually. So he needs he needs wins, big wins, and this is another big one to have him. So Cody Rhodes beats Seth Rollins. And last we have the six man tag team match between RK Bro and Drew McIntyre versus the Usos and Roman Reigns. I was more excited for it to be the unifying tag team battles between RK Bro and the Usos. It would have been cool seeing that, but now since this is just a six man tag, nothing's up for grabs. The titles are not up for grabs, either titles. It's just kind of what, what's the point? What's the point in having this? But it is what it is. They're just trying to get more people to watch them backlash because they have Roman Reigns on it and Drew McIntyre. But, uh,. <sighs> I'm not excited for this one. I'm not excited. I was more excited for when it was the unifying tag team titles on the line. But uh, RK Bro have been kind of on a winning streak, but the Usos haven't lost because there's a bloodline. I don't know. This match is like meh. It's like meh. But I don't think Roman and the bloodline, the Usos, whatever you want to call them, I don't think they're going to lose. I don't think they could lose. I feel like maybe. For sure, Drew McIntyre is not going to get pinned. He's not going to get pinned. And I, I feel like Randy Orton is not going to get pinned either. It's going to be Riddle getting the getting pinned and losing the match. But maybe it'll be fun. Maybe Randy Orton has been having fun. So maybe it'll be fun. A fun match. But yeah, I feel like the bloodline, Roman Reigns and the Usos are going to win this one. And Matt Riddle's gonna t oh well, it's not long off. no longer Matt. He's just Riddle. So Riddle's gonna take the pin, and that's it. Then maybe gonna set up matches for the next pay per view. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, but that's it. That's all for me, guys. It doesn't seem like that of exciting of a card, but it might be fun. It might be fun. Who knows? But I'm still gonna watch. I'm still gonna watch, and hopefully, I get at least fifty percent right this time. Last time I got like thirty percent right. But it is what it is. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully my predictions are right. And hopefully it's a fun WrestleMania backlash. Have a nice day and bye.